All right, this is the best it's gonna get at 2.30 a.m. when my little one is sleeping and I don't have good lighting. So this is the best we're gonna do. But um, like I said, I'm gonna be getting better at editing and filming and stuff like that. But right now it's gonna just be like documentary style pretty much. Like when I feel like I need to say something, I'm gonna say it. And then later on it's gonna get because right now, pretty much is going to be the crappy parts. I mean, I don't want to say crappy, but it's going to be like the the raw parts, the parts that I feel like I need the most work on. And obviously, I'm dressed up because I just did Songbird, which is like a singing competition that I do, which was fine. I love it. Um, it's a part of who I am to want to entertain and perform, so that's good. But um, I just like feel like it's important to film videos when I'm in the emotion of what I'm feeling instead of like waiting the next day and then thinking about it and maybe not giving as raw of a video. So the first thing that I feel like I really would like to focus on because I think it's just been the most distracting in my life more than anything, more than money, more than jobs, more than anything it has been men. Men always distract me. I mean, I could be doing okay, I'm like, I'm feeling okay, and then boom, some man comes out of nowhere. And then, you know, a month later I'm crying. And that's just like this cycle for the past however many years. I mean, I cannot even tell you how many tears I've cried over some guy rejecting me or making me feel like I'm not enough or you know disappearing I don't I mean I could write a book on this stuff the thing is is that you over time start to believe in that stuff so like I try to tell people all the time it's like if you're constantly fearful of something it's going to happen like if a girl is constantly afraid a guy is going to cheat He's probably going to cheat or someone's going to cheat on you. If you're constantly afraid that someone's going to reject you, you're probably going to start doing behaviors to perpetuate rejection in your life. If you're constantly worried that, you know, um, this guy's looking at other girls, he's going to be looking at, like, every, the things that you feel fearful of, excuse me, are pretty much what you put out there in the universe. So I'm just going to, like, share this quick little story um, in my life. Um, so the thing about me is that I'm the kind of person that is a giver. You know, I like to nurture, I like to take care of. I, 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 when I'm with a guy, his needs are way above mine to the point where it's gotten out of control, where I don't even know how to put my needs first. And what's ironic is in my regular life, I put myself first all the time. Like I'll go and buy an outfit before I pay my electric bill or like I'll get my hair done before I buy my kids an outfit. And you know what, that might sound really crappy, but it's it's me being honest. Like I'm selfish. I'm a really selfish person sometimes when it comes to certain things. But, and I'm not saying that I don't do what I need to do, but like sometimes I'm just freaking selfish. I want something, I get it, I don't care, you know? Like, but when it comes to a man, I all of a sudden, I'm a submissive little housewife. I'm like, oh, what's that? You want me to come over at 12? Sure. Oh, you don't want to commit to me? Sure. Oh, what? You only like want to see me like on Fridays at like 11 p.m. at your house? Sure. Why not? Because it makes me feel good to be wanted by you. It makes me feel validated to have someone that I like validate me. It makes me feel important. It makes me feel special. And as soon as that gets taken away from me, guess what happens? I don't feel special. I don't feel valuable. I don't feel important. I don't feel beautiful. I feel like nothing. And that is like the number one thing that I'm determined to work on. Because if somebody leaves me tomorrow, it should not devastate me to the point where I'm questioning my self-worth, which is what happens more times than I can count. I'm embarrassed to say. And you know what happens? Emotion takes over. I Impulse control goes away. Like, And you almost get addicted to the sadness. 
and that's the craziest thing like you get addicted to feeling sad and lonely and rejected because there's something beautiful about it I don't know how to explain it but there's something beautiful about a sad girl who can't find love who tries really hard who has a good heart and you get caught up in that story and that story is that this great girl as everyone says I'm a great girl I have a good heart I'm funny I'm pretty I'm whatever 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 but this great girl continues to go for guys who don't give her what she wants or deserves so there's the story it's like this great girl just keeps falling for the same guys getting the same results and then complaining about it that's just like not okay it's not okay and guess what like I'm four days into this and I messed up. I'm four days in to this journey. And I said I was going to be strong and I said I was going to be tough and I wasn't. And I cracked and I reached out to someone I shouldn't have and had a complete meltdown tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. And my first instinct was to give up. That's, that's like, that's classic Sarah. It's like, oh, this isn't working for you. You're going to give up. You're going to stop. But I'm not, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna feel like crap and I'm gonna feel embarrassed and I'm gonna feel like I shouldn't have done that and I'm gonna feel like, what's the point? And then I'm just gonna try again and I'm gonna get up every day and I'm gonna try again because I'm going to tackle this. And I think what happens is that you're on high, like when you come off drugs or, or when you start a new mindset, anything that changes your mindset, you are on a high. Like, I'm listening to Tony Robbins. I feel like I can conquer the world. And then, yeah, reality hits you and you start to feel freaking weak and sad and lonely and you don't change your habits in a week or four days. It takes years or months. I mean, hopefully not years, hopefully six months I'll be a different person, but it sucks. And I'm not here to like have every motivational speech all the time about how things are gonna be easy and not hurt, because they do. All I can hope for is that they start to hurt a little less and I start to get a little bit better at avoiding things that hurt me, I guess. So that's it for this video and hopefully next week I'll have something more inspirational. But this is real, like I told you. Bye.